Hello and welcome. It is the end of the month for January. So let's start off within the monthly Silver Eagle Mintage for January of 2017, barely breaking above 5 million, which is the second lowest total since it once again broke the record in here. It was a record breaker in here. It was record breaker here because the highest before was 1.8 million in the 20th century. Silver Eagles got to that level again in 2003. In 2008, interesting information appeared amongst the internet. Things about money being a debt-based system. And then the pickup. Basically, since 2011... It has roughly had 5 million every January, and it was barely above it this January. For the month, it was about a gain of around 10%. The lows for the month practically occurred at the start, only 3 cents of a difference, and the highs, of course, that's pending the next 20 minutes, but it's going to be around a 17.57 close and pennies from its highs recorded earlier today. As far as the makeup of this pattern is concerned, after such a long downtrend, a move in here was the attempt to turn this into a bull market. It furthered attempt by establishing resistance halfway through 2016 and it since has made a move to the 18 average of lows in this month, a rising move. So in the continuation on the attempt of making this a bull market, I'm going to be looking for a break of this high from the summer of last year in at around 22 US per ounce. And within that, a most likely fast move up to the significant Fibonacci level of 2530. I'll talk more about that as time approaches towards such. And because it's had this nice move towards the upside and a nice up month in January, if this band fails and you see action within the 2015 lows, then this would be spelling out what would look like a failed move to the upside and a fast move that you would probably consider a test of the 2008 lows. For about the 30th time in this video, I'm going to say I don't think that's going to happen, but just because I think something is going to be one way or another isn't going to be so. But that is the monthly time frame as far as the daily chart today. Significant resistance was broken and a fast move up to the key Fibonacci point, pretty much right at it. It's uh, 18, excuse me, 1760, the high today at 1763. So, therefore, it's pretty much a matching hit. This also means this big level, which was resistance on any short term moves, is that expected area for support, ideally. A move down to here could work and then a break would give another bullish setup to go long breaking resistance as around 18 would be the next significant target but before we show that on the weekly chart I want to revisit this trend line which lost its balance in here and has now since regained that pattern I was saying when it originally broke it it's possible this could do just that. It's pretty much the similarity of a failed move. Is this the, st the start and medium st uh, point of a failed uh, breakout from this point? Well, the high is, well, it's going to be the next day now, getting close to 18 as this line will increase each day. And we take a look at this on the weekly chart coming from five consecutive up weeks and a head start. On the six, it's about 50-50 that you have an up week after a down week within this uh, historical measure. I'll, if this is an up week, I'll take a look at every week going back to 1968. I haven't looked at the other dates for up moves. And I could very easily do such. It would take me about 30 or 40 minutes. 
But in order to do that, I've got to see an upweek close. I'm expecting such, but who knows? As far as resistance, there we have it, 1792, which would coincide with the uptrend line, probably for around Thursday or Friday. It's also now the attempt to put this back into a bull market because for the first time since the decline, it's now above the 18 average of highs. So it's the attempt, as we were saying on the monthly chart, this is the attempt in here. Same sort of deal as we look back on the weekly. And you're looking for a resistance level test at somewhere, a move back to the band in support, whether it be the 18 average highs, closes or lows, and then a move to break its resistance point. Sometimes it can take longer times than others, but that's what I'd be looking for for reversal of trend. Fibonacci will be big from this level to this level. I'll be looking more on that when there's any signs of price declines. And as I stated at the end of the week, after five consecutive up weeks, it usually spells volatility. So to think that, uh, that we should be seeing moves either way up here or either a major correction into the band would be exactly what I'm expecting. That volatility, which is now at three point uh, three and two ninths of a percent well i think we're going to beat the median and we're two days in so we'll see how that goes take care